Anyone else? All right, item 10, public, uh, conduct of business, adopt a resolution authorizing the city manager to execute a contract with Rainey Planning and Management, Inc. in an amount not to exceed $33,920 for environmental review of the proposed San Francisco Police Credit Union office building at 1250 Grundy Lane. Honorable Mayor and Council Members, I'm David Wolterain, your Community Development Director. I'd like to start my presentation by providing some brief background on this agenda item. The city has received and deemed complete for processing an application from the San Francisco Police Credit Union for planning approvals to construct a new headquarters office building within the Bay Hill Business Park. The proposed location for this building is the site of the former and now vacant TGIF restaurant at 1250 Gundy Lane in the Bay Hill Park. Immediately to the north of this site is Highway 380 and the surrounding land uses or all office uses. The applicant has indicated that the credit union needs additional space because of growing membership and also a desire to provide a broader range of services. The proposed building will be about 66,800 square feet in size. It will be three stories in height. It will have two levels of subterranean parking plus some additional surface parking. There will be about 202 parking spaces total on the site. This new facility will house all of the operational and administrative service functions that support the branch network for the credit union. In addition, there will be a small retail credit union facility for members only on site. They anticipate that there will be up to about 167 employees at the facility. The actual formal public hearing process for this application has not yet begun. It's still early in the process. But this item will go before the Architectural Review Committee, the Planning Commission, and the City Council. A project like this does require full environmental review, and that's required by the California Environmental Quality Act and also the San Bruno Municipal Code. In a situation like this, as we receive an application, we deem it complete and determine that an environmental review is required, we typically prepare, as we did in this case, a request for proposals and send it out to qualified environmental consulting firms and receive their proposals. We did that in this case, and we received three proposals. We received proposals from ESA, LSA, and Rainey Planning and Management. All the proposals had similar scopes of work. The cost proposals received, though, were different. The Rainey cost proposal came in at $33,290, ESAs at $41,315, about $8,000 higher, <coughs> and LSAs at $47,240, about $14,000 higher than the Rainey proposal. Rainy Planning and Management has extensive experience in similar work. Uh, Rainy's overall time frame for completing the project was about four months, which is less, a little bit less than the other two consulting firms that proposed on this project. Based on our review of the proposal, staff is recommending to the City Council that you select Rainy Planning and Management to prepare the environmental review for the San Francisco Police Credit Union project. And accordingly, we've prepared and attached to your staff report a resolution that we're recommending that you adopt this evening that authorizes the city manager to execute a consultant services agreement in an amount not to exceed $33,290 with Rainey Planning and Management for environmental review for the proposed San Francisco Police Credit Union office building at 1250 Grundy Lane. I should point out that we're anticipating that this project will involve an initial study, an environmental initial study, and a mitigated negative declaration. But as is typical and standard, an initial study would be prepared first, and it could be, we don't expect this, but it could be that um, a higher level, a full EIR environmental impact report could be required. If that would be the case, there would be a need to come back and amend this contract. We are, though, anticipating that this would be a, a standard initial study and mitigated negative declaration. In terms of fiscal impact on the city, we do not anticipate any fiscal impact on the city. All costs will be the responsibility of the applicant. 
that concludes my presentation. I'd be happy to respond to any of your questions. Okay. Thank you. Any questions for David? Action by the council. I'll um, introduce the resolution. Vice Mayor O'Connell. Aye. Council Member Salazar. Aye. Council Member Medina. Aye. Mayor Ruane. Aye. 